hopefully in the near future, we can get together so I can expand on the Frank and Jerry legacy. I'll start where we met. That old Ford station wagon was our school bus to kindergarten 67 years ago. A chain-smoking, nasty old lady kept us quiet and still. The Lori boy's mom would send them dressed up identically. They even came dressed as Canadian Mounties. Jerry said he hated that. Well, that next memory, shortly after that time, was first grade in Catholic school, St. Mary Magdalene, catechism class in the first grade. The nun asked the boys that she would give them an easy question since they came late in the season, coming down from the, uh, the Canadian school. And she said, ask to make the sign of the cross. So Frank and Jerry looked at each other and simultaneously did this. I about fell out of my little chair. <laughs> Still remember that for some odd reason. During this area of their youth, their father, Frank Laurie, was building Camp Cleveland. So they returned to Ohio during the winter months. So our families became close. In the summer, summertime, they would catch a ride with family or friends and stay with my family and vice versa. I would help Frank and Jerry with all the work up at the camp that had to be done. One day we were, we were painting the cabins. Jerry had a habit of disappearing for hours. <laughs> Frank and I discovered he would take a stack of comic books to the outhouse. So we tied a rope around the structure to keep the door closed. Then we got a ladder and dropped the string of firecrackers down the vent pipe. Quite a calamity. Jerry had to find a new hiding place. Jerry was always there to help me with advice, no matter what predicament I got myself into. He even encouraged me to retire early. Don't worry about the money, he said. It'll always be there. And he was right. Jerry Baldwin, you're a hell of a man. As long as you're remembered, remember, you'll always be with us. I'll never forget. Just too much to remember. P.S. Thanks, Sophie, for asking me to do this. I feel a lot better.